a gay rights rally. Thousands have gathered, showing their support for the right to love the same sex. We're here because we believe in the freedom to love. It doesn't matter if you're a girl or a guy, we're loving. We are here because we love love. This could be anywhere in the world, but what's unusual about this rally is that it's taking place in Singapore. The sex between men is still a crime. Even though the law is rarely enforced, organizers hope it will change. We hope that uh, with this movement, we can change hearts and minds of Singaporeans. And when society's attitudes are eventually changed, it will signal uh, to, to the authorities that this is time, perhaps time, for laws and regulations to change as well. Participants dress in pink and gather to form a dot to raise awareness of gay rights. It was Singapore's very first gay rally when it took place five years ago. Then around 2,500 people turned up. Now the number has grown more than tenfold. Now there's a real carnival-like atmosphere here. Thousands of people gathered in this small public park, really the only place in Singapore you can have demonstrations and public gatherings like this. But the fact is that gay sex remains illegal in Singapore. And according to a recent poll, nearly 80% of Singaporeans are against it. White. Among them are this group, Firstly, led by a Muslim teacher, who launched a campaign urging Muslims in Singapore not to take part in the Pink Dot event, but wear white to usher in the holy month of Ramadan. If you disagree with someone's lifestyle, you must... The campaign was publicly supported by Christian groups, including this man, an influential pastor who counts some 10,000 people among his flock. What we want to do is just to represent the conservative who do not believe that the uh, uh, homosexual lifestyle is something that is acceptable in Singapore. We just want to speak up for them and, and we are not to force anything. We are not trying to be uh, difficult or confrontational, uh, even wearing white. We are doing it in the circle of our own uh, influence in our churches. Authorities called for restraint on both sides, but the debate highlights divisions in a country unaccustomed to dissent. It shows a changing society where many different voices are now being heard.